Hi, I'm Mike from Heritage. Just wanted to check in with you today with just a little piece of information about your water heater and why maintenance is important. Manufacturers of water heaters do require annual maintenance. Part of that is flushing the tank. So as part of our water heater maintenance that we perform, we'll hook up a hose, we'll flush out the bottom of the tank, get all that sediment and debris off from the bottom of the tank. The other thing that we'll do is once we drain the water down a little bit, we'll actually pull out your safety relief valve. This is the only safety device on your water heater. And what it does is actually sense temperature based upon this probe. So if it gets too hot or if the pressure gets too high, this will actually relieve that pressure so it does not damage the tank. What will end up happening is the manufacturer requires you to actuate it once a year and they actually stay in it every two to three years. A licensed plumber, a licensed professional should actually physically remove it and take a look at it for um, the condition of it. There are situations where some of them, because of our water quality, inside of here, you can actually see where the buildup of all the minerals and calcium and everything um, can actually render the safety device ineffective where it would not operate if it gets too hot or it gets uh, too much pressure. The next thing that we check out as part of that is we will check out what they call an anode rod. An anode rod is a sacrificial device where as you heat up water, it wants to attack something. So what it will attack is it'll actually attack the anode rod. And once the anode rod is fully depleted, that's the point where it starts attacking the tank. Now the average tank lasts about eight to 10 years here in New Hampshire. And then what happens is the anode rod lasts about four to five years. Again, depending upon water quality and so forth. So as it starts to deteriorate, then you're left with very little piece here and eventually gets back to the point where you're left with a single wire and it does not protect your tank at all. And that's the point where it actually starts to uh, eat away at your tank, causing critical failures. This is an anti-scald valve. What this anti-scald valve does, it takes the temperature coming out of the tank, regardless what temperature it is, and it maintains a constant safe temperature of water heading up into the home. Um, these are absolutely recommended and a great feature to have on your system to protect if you have any elderly in your home or you have any children in your home to be able to ensure safe temperatures coming out of all your fixtures. The other device that I talk about with people, regardless of whether the, um, the water heater is older or newer, this can be added on to any device. It's a flood protection system. Actually it does two things. It'll actually sense water down on the floor through a sensor then what this will do is this will actually actuate a audible alarm similar to a smoke alarm going off um, to let you know that there's water been sensed on the floor. But the other key feature is inside of here, it actually has a device where this will actually close the valve and prevent any more water from being uh, let into the leaking water heater. Uh, this is a great safety device to automatically shut off the water heater should it ever leak, whether you're at home or you're not at home it'll actually do that work. There's other features that we will check out, whether it's gas or electric that are more uh, specific, but bottom line, we'll go through all the safeties, we'll flush the tank, we'll take a look at all the uh, components and accessories that go with your tank and make sure that two, uh, a couple of things happen. Number one, it's safe. Number two, uh, we'll give you a scorecard so you know exactly what condition your system is in. And the third is, we'll also give you uh, the opportunity to maximize the life of your existing water heater because it is a fairly large investment. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit us up on the chat or email us uh, directly here at Heritage. And we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Take care.